Welcome to the Witty Horse, where we love sharing real experiences about horses. We're here today with Gene Ray Stewart of Gene Ray Stewart Performance Horses. He's a horse trainer in Owington, Kentucky. In the winter time, when the days are really cold and it's too cold to ride, he has another interest, and that's leatherworks. So we're here in the Stewart's Leatherworks shop to talk with Gene about what he does. Gene, how did you get started in leatherworks? You know, uh, Dad started making chaps about all of about 40 years ago and uh, uh, in the last five to six years I've really gotten into it just kind of uh, for something fun to do and it's kind of turned into my golf in the winter time so right. <laughs> we're very good so you've been doing it five to six years yeah now. thereabouts so what kind of products do y'all create uh, we do a lot of custom belts and custom chaps uh, that we uh, have been shipped all over the world uh, and everything I'm actually working on a belt for a lady from Arizona at the moment and uh, just different things like that. Okay, so what's your most popular product that you create? You know, probably our belts right now uh, and our chaps as well. Uh, we also uh, uh, do a lot of just dog collars and, and just different stuff to, to go with the Western lifestyle. Alright, very good. Hey, do you? Uh, what's the most difficult thing you put together? You know, I, I don't know if I have the most difficult. They're all challenging in their own little ways. Um, uh, I've just started uh, carving uh, florals, and that's really been uh, uh, really trying for me, but I, I so enjoy it so much. Okay, what's the most, uh, uh, the one you created that's the most, that you're most proud of? Uh, I don't know if I have a single one. Uh, you know, actually this, this pair of chaps that we're looking at here are my, uh, 12 year old sons and uh, I was really proud of those when we first made them and uh, I've sold probably uh, four or five pair that look just like them since then <laughs> yeah so I see you got a lot of tools out here and you got this floral belt that you've been working on that you talked about so right. what are some of the tools you use to do some of this work you know there's all kinds of, of stamping tools uh, this pile of tools here is basically the tools that I have used to, to create this um, along with the malls. Uh, you know, the most, probably the most widely used when it comes to our florals is gonna be our uh, uh, swivel knife. Uh, and I have multitudes of different kinds of swivel knives. This, uh, this is a Barry King swivel knife. It's probably my favorite. Then you just have shaders and, uh, and bevels and, and such to, to make everything work out real pretty for a, a floral design. And then there's also, uh, of course basket weave stamps and and whatnot and different geometrical stamps that we'll use um, to create belts as well well I can see Gene we're gonna have to come back and, and look have you show us how you get that design on the leather because uh, I assume the leather doesn't come with that on it I wish you, it did yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to put those things on it so I think yeah. that'll be really interesting for uh, our viewers and the people that follow us to show them how all that uh, transpires from the design up to the creation to the finished product. So uh, I think we can look forward to future episodes with you. Wonderful. And uh, we want to thank you for joining the Witty Horse, where we love to share real experiences about horses. And follow the Witty Horse at wittyhorse.com.